Blessed is the player who could spread, spread, spread until she or he is more covered than Verizon Wireless. Yet, if you had given me 100000 to bet Saturday's pick six in 2012, I'd have still gone home more tapped out than Fred Astaire. Little Mike, you son of a gun. When had you ever been this amenable to raiding tactics? I happen to know many people who had Mizzy and Bobby and Trini and Danny and Larney, but Mikey, off the pace, you're killing us here. That smiling man with the E-Train hairstyle is none other than Charles Fipke, grade one owner and horse lover, and his perfect Cheryl was one of the few Philly and Mare turf winners not to have enjoyed that blueprint inside out trip. Perfect Cheryl and the 20 to one musical romance three races earlier made this a particularly difficult pick six sequence. Obviously, there were only two winning tickets, but remember who filled out those tickets? Stephanie's kitten with, guess who? Johnny V, a single, a single, and a mare named, uh, oh well, that special mare would deliver again the following year as the only must use in a sequence that once again yielded only two winning tickets. Yeah, there were a couple of stretches here, but none reached as far as Argentina, baby. Kaleidoscopio, the caboose. Were you aboard with Aaron Grider? Nine years old, this guy was big fun, big run, big lungs. Here he comes, the trickiest component in the sixth greatest score in the history of the Breeders' Cup World Championships. 800,000 in the carryover. Goldakova locked and loaded for a three-peat in the mile and Zenyatta dancing for immortality in the classic. You think BC players woke up excited November 6, 2010? You think? And imagine, just imagine, if you needed a powerhouse older male to hold off a queen for 800,160 Simoleons. Was that you? <laughs>